What's up everyone, and welcome back to the channel. For the longest time, the world of AI talking heads has been stuck in this creepy, uncanny valley. You know what I'm talking about. We get these disembodied heads that talk, sure, but they feel lifeless, like a digital ventriloquist dummy. Their bodies are frozen, their gestures are non-existent, and you just know you're looking at a deep fake. Well, I think we're finally starting to climb out of that valley because a new tool just dropped that feels like a major leap forward. Now, recently I featured an amazing similar tool called Multitalk, and that is a fantastic tool for lip sync with realistic body movement, even with multiple characters. But as some of you discovered, that's a beast when it comes to VRAM requirement. Well, this new tool is only for a single character for now, but it is amazing and critically not so demanding. This is Omni Avatar, a new AI model from researchers at Zhejiang University and Alibaba. And let me tell you, it goes so far beyond just making a picture talk. This tool is designed from the ground up to create digital humans with a lifelike, adaptive body animation. We're talking about giving an AI a single reference photo and an audio clip, and it generates a video where the character not only has perfect lip sync, but also gestures, expresses emotion with their whole body, and even interacts with objects in the scene. The team behind this isn't just aiming for a better talking head, they're trying to create a true digital actor, and the results are pretty jaw-dropping. All right, let's get to the visuals. I've pulled some of the key demos from their official project page, and this is where you can really see the magic happen. We'll start with the fundamentals. Check out this first example. At a glance, it might seem simple, but watch closely. There isn't a huge amount of body movement, but it's not static either. There's a subtle, discernible life to it, that natural sway is the foundation of realism, something many other tools miss entirely. But what happens when we throw it a curveball? Look at this example in an artistic style. The girl is in a side profile. Now, this is a classic failure point for most lip sync AI. They're trained on front facing data and just can't handle a face that isn't looking right at the camera. But Omni Avatar is different. This tool is intelligent. 欢迎体验由阿里巴巴夸克AI团队打造的音频驱动视频生成模型 As you can hear, the audio is in Chinese, which makes sense since the Alibaba group is a core part of this project. But language doesn't matter here. Look at the result. It nails the lip sync even on a complete side pose. That's insane. Now let's look at another art style example. Watch how not just the face, but the entire head moves and even the background is dynamic. 欢迎体验由阿里巴巴夸克AI团队打造的 the lip sync quality there is absolutely spot on. I've featured tools on this channel where the lip sync is decent, but the head movement looks robotic and artificial, totally killing the realism. Omni Avatar completely avoids that robot head problem. The movement feels organic and connected. Even with a completely still body just focusing on the lips, the quality is undeniable. Okay, so it has the basics down pad, but what happens when we get more ambitious? Let's move beyond static shots. Check out this AI-generated character in a cyberpunk style. The initial frame is a slight side pose, but when I hit play, Look at that. Not only is the lip sync incredibly realistic, but her body moves naturally, and the background comes alive with motion. The whole scene feels cohesive and alive. Now here's an example that really blew me away. We have a guy in a neon-lit city. It starts from a single image, but watch what happens. He adjusts his jacket, he raises his hand to wave while he's speaking. It's a wonderfully natural, fluid sequence of motions. And look at the crowd behind him. They're not a frozen JPEG, they're walking and adding to the atmosphere. The AI isn't just animating a character, it's building a living world around him. This same quality holds up even in completely different styles like this sketch. The hand movement, the turn of the head, flawless. From a pure animation perspective, this is top tier stuff. But now let's get to the section that I think is the true game changer, human object interaction. Here, you're not just giving the AI audio, you give it a reference photo of an object, and the character will interact with it while speaking. Watch this. Here's a character meant to be advertising a baby garment. She's holding it, showing it off, and talking. 
这款裙子采用轻盈舒适的面料，设计简约而不失优雅，流畅的剪裁与精致的细节相结合，展现女性柔美的曲线。Did you see that? She picked a frock up from the table, lifted it with both hands, and presented it like a professional on a shopping channel, all while maintaining perfect lip sync. This is a massive deal for things like product advertising or virtual presenters. Here's another one: a guy showing off a handbag. 这款 LV 包包融合了经典与时尚，是每位追求品质与品味人士的必备之选。采用优质材料精心制作，细节处尽显奢华与精致，彰显独特的设计理念。无论是日常搭配还是特殊场合，它都能完美提升您的整体造型。The precision is just incredible, and it's not just small items. Here's a character on a basketball court, and you can see him realistically handling and moving with the ball. Or look at this example, where a character picks a perfume bottle off the table and showcases it. The intelligence to recognize the object, the table, and the action required is just on another level. The versatility doesn't stop there. You can generate full podcasts. You feed it a long audio track with two different speakers and provide two different character images. The tool is smart enough to listen to the audio, identify who is speaking, and animate the correct character at the right time. Here's a clip from a three and a half minute podcast they generated. Hey, 你好啊，各位，欢迎收听我们的科技闲聊播客《科技杂谈》，我是今天的主播小林。大家好啊、呃，我是老周，很高兴又和大家见面了。今天呢，我和小林要聊一个挺有意思的新产品，就是那个夸克最近推出的 AI 相机。对对对，就是前两天那个二零二五年四月二十七号发布的夸克 AI 超级框。我第一眼看到这个消息的时候，其实挺……嗯，怎么说呢 ？Finally, let's look at the ultimate test: singing. This is where emotion, timing, and expression all have to come together. Okay, they might have to mute that to avoid the copyright gods, but you can see how good that was. Singing in English, no problem. The expressions, the emotion, it's all there. Here's another incredible example. It's almost a full body shot, so you can see the hand movements and the expressive posture that goes along with the song. <laughs> 悲伤 And to wrap up the examples, look at this beautiful shot. That was a 24-second continuous clip. Think about everything that's happening there. The girl has a genuinely sad and emotive expression. The lip sync to the English song is perfect, and the fire in front of her is burning realistically, with no weird freezing or artifacts. It's a beautiful, coherent, and emotionally resonant scene generated from a single image and an audio track. Just wow! So the examples look incredible, but are they cherry picked? Let's throw it in the ring with the current champions and look at the hard data. The researchers compared Omni Avatar to a whole lineup of popular tools like Sad Talker, Ani Portrait, and even other advanced models like Hunyan Avatar and Fantasy Talking. They use a few key metrics, but let's just focus on a couple. Think of FVD or Frisé video distance like a golf score for video quality. The lower the number, the better and more realistic the video is. On a key test set, Omni Avatar scores a 664. The next best competitor is way up at 780, and others are even higher. It's not just a small win; it's a landslide. But here's the most important part: it also scores incredibly high on lip sync accuracy, measured by something called Sync C. This is huge because often models that have great body movement sacrifice lip sync, and vice versa. Omni Avatar manages to do both at a state-of-the-art level. It's the total package. So how in the world did they pull this off? What's the secret sauce? 
Well, most older models sort of treat the audio as a suggestion. They look at the video frame and then at the audio and try to make them match up using something called cross-attention. It works, but it's an indirect high-level approach. Omni Avatar does something radically different. Imagine instead of just frosting a cake with audio flavor, you bake the audio directly into the batter at every stage of making the video. That's what they call a pixel-wise multi-hierarchical audio embedding. And trust me, it's a mouthful. They essentially inject the audio data at the most fundamental pixel level of the video generation process. This allows the audio to influence everything naturally, from the lips, to the face, to the shoulders, all the way down. And the best part? They did this efficiently. They didn't train a new billion parameter model from scratch. They used LoRa, or low-rank adaptation, to smartly upgrade an existing powerful open-source video model called WAN 2.1. Think of it like installing a high-performance tuning chip into a race car engine. You get all the new capabilities without having to rebuild the entire car. It's clever, it's efficient, and it works. Now for the question that matters most to all of us innovators and tinkerers out there. Can you use it? Yes! In a beautiful move for the community, the team has open-sourced everything on GitHub. The code, the LoRa models, and the instructions are all there waiting for you. This is not some locked away corporate secret. They've handed us the keys to the kingdom. To get it running, you'll need a decent GPU. Now they trained on a cluster of A100s, which might sound terrifying, but fear not. They've released a much smaller 1.3B parameter model alongside the full 14B model. Digging around online, people have confirmed they're getting this smaller model running on consumer cards with as little as eight gigabytes of VRAM. That is massive and makes this tool accessible to so many of us who don't have a personal server farm. The full setup instructions are on their GitHub page and they're pretty straightforward. So to sum it all up, Omni Avatar is a monumental step forward. It bridges the gap between simple lip sync and true holistic digital performance. It's controllable, it produces incredibly realistic results and it's open source. This is a powerful tool for storytelling, for creating virtual assistants that feel present, and maybe even for the future of filmmaking. I am genuinely excited to see what the community builds with this. That's it for me today. What do you think? Is this the future of digital humans? Drop your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.